This is our Alaska bucket list. These are the things that we decided that we wanted to go do while we're here, things that we can afford and things that are age appropriate for our kids. We've done a lot of them. And this week we're going to take you to Matsu Valley where we get to check off, visit a reindeer farm, hike to waterfalls, get out our raft and take a sled dog ride. So let's go. All right, guys, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. John's at work today. It has been sunny, finally, for the last three days. Unfortunately, he's been working all three days. Yesterday, we, the kids and I ventured out to the skate park in Wasilla just to go for a drive and check things out. And we passed Wasilla Lake where there was a ton of people swimming. So we're going to go check that out today. We have the raft with us. This is about as hot as Anchorage gets. It's 82 degrees is what my car reads right now. The weather says it's 77 is the high. So I don't know, somewhere around 80 degrees. I'm saying that's a win. There's this cute little duck family. It's like a mama and her little ducklings and they just keep swimming along with all the people. They got really close to Chloe once and she thought it was super cool. The lake was fun, but the next time we visited Wasilla, we made sure to take John with us. the Iditarod Trail Race Headquarters in Wasilla. Go. I'm so excited. This is something that I really wanted to see. Uh, we actually don't, I don't know a lot about it, so I'm excited to go learn some learn more. about it, yeah. yeah. Well, let's go check it out. I think this is the kennels over here, and it looks like the sled dog rides are operational today, which is awesome because in Denali they were not, but it's like a $10 per person sled dog ride. It looks like it might be open, so we might have gotten in luck. So they, get, they get excited to run, don't they? We're going for a sled dog ride! Okay, everybody ready? The Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race is an annual long distance race. It, officially, it's 1,049 miles in honor of the 49th state. The trail was named after a town which ran beside the Iditarod River. It was used during the gold rush to haul supplies. But after the gold ran out in the 1930s, everyone left. Sled dogs need 10,000 calories per day. Wow, is, is this a stand, the size of a normal yep, team yeah, yep. that you would no, race with? 14 dogs. 14 dogs. Here we have 10. Wow. Where then they pulled us pretty well, Kansas. Mom, this is very different. His grandfather was born in Oh, really? Oh, that's such a small world. That's great. He's cute. stuffed animal because oh. they're, they're gonna think it's food for them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's pretty, so what's, like what age do you normally run them? So eight months old is when you can harness break. Yeah. Um, but nothing really serious like racing wise until about 18 months old. How long does it take to do that though in time wise for eight, eight yeah. It's eight days, a thousand miles in eight days via That's dog a power. Time, yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> so turning is G is for right, Haw is for left. And he was probably calling up a 
calling them up a little bit, uh -huh. just keeping them going. So probably saying like I I and stuff. Yeah. Just kind of getting yeah. them excited, getting them going. Yeah, but you um, could tell they really they want to go. Yeah. They do want to run. Yeah. So that's just kind of keep them happy and stuff. Other commands, I'll usually tell them all right to go, but it's once you pull that snow hook in the winter, they're gonna go. They know. Yeah. And I tell them ho when we're stopping, mm -hmm. but we say that. But if I tell them that they're not really gonna stop, you have to lay in the brake. It's yeah. more just a tell them that but they're not really trained to stop much right but and in the off season when there's no snow this is what you guys do to run and train them right? yeah so we train them on this in the summer it just gives them something to do instead of sitting on a chain all summer and then in the fall we get them on the four-wheeler and start training more serious and then mm -hmm. we can do more miles and more control on the four-wheeler yeah. we do that until we can get on snow and once we're on snow we'll get on the sled as soon as we can sure oh. um i am giving back to pd foxy because we can't, <laughs> Chloe couldn't have her out because the dogs might think that she was a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Lake Hood. Isn't it over here on the right, the far right? Well, that is the Valdez waterfall. Oh, okay. I have the other one on here somewhere. Here it is, Thunderbird Falls. Yep. Thunderbird Falls and Bike and Palmer. That's today. These two today. Cool. Let's do it. Perfect summer is over in a flash, and you're on your way. But some part of me is hoping for tonight. It's not too late. We're out here in Palmer and we found this bike park. I had read about it on one of the little insert things from our RV park and the kids love bike parks. So we came here, Chloe learned how to ride her bike two weeks ago and she is already on the dirt tracks. Ethan is mastering that jump. Okay, Did on, you now. find that, Chloe? Yeah. Did you find that, Chloe Bean? <laughs> but Cinder smelled you out. Okay, I'm gonna go down a little ways and then I'll and then I'll wait for you. Okay. Okay. Here, little Miss, let's fix your walk, your helmet. Okay. I'm sweating. I can tell you guys are really excited to go hiking. Oh. And the smooch is like, let's go. I'm ready. Like, I've got this. <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> She's going to record me when I'm going up a hill. <laughs> of course. Uh, we're at Thunderbird Falls Trail. And we're all a little tired already because we just got done with a lot of really fun bike park in Palmer, Alaska. Some beautiful gorge viewing. And uh, yeah, it's a really pretty trail. Man, this gorge is gorge. Yeah. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh my gosh, that's really far down.
Okay, I'm, I'm recording this because there's not a Sonic in Anchorage, so <laughs> we're stopping to get some Sonic and then we're heading over to Palmer and we're going to go check out the reindeer farm and I hope that the rain will hold off for us because it looks like it might be raining over there. So. <laughs> What's the specific name of this it's farm? It's called the reindeer farm. It's the reindeer farm. We are at the reindeer farm, so we're going to go check it out and uh, I'll probably see some reindeer. Yeah. Reindeer are domestic, caribou are wild. So when we're talking about reindeer and caribou, they're basically the same animal. Like you said, reindeer are domestic, caribou are wild. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if you guys want to help, come on up to the fence here. This is my father-in-law, Josh. Okay. He's going to get these guys started on the bottle. All right, guys, this is Rocky the Moose. Everyone say hi, Rocky. Hi, Rocky. The pavement and the long, long roads. Yeah. And you're always in such a rush. Mm. With your life playing from the stereo. Reindeer farm, super awesome experience. Yeah, that was totally well worth it. Was it. Fun. Very informative. Our tour guide. I had jokes was, and, and lots of information. Yeah. Answered every question that we had. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was it was really, really fun. fun. The llama, you like Sky the llama? Yeah, she was yeah. cute with the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you? What was your favorite? That was that was that was so much fun. My favorite animal it was a moose. I like moose. <laughs> Who was not a moose? It wasn't moose. It was a reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but was a moose that he was huge. I liked kissing the moose. <laughs> I liked feeding the reindeer. That I was like my feeding. favorite moose. Yeah, I, yeah, I like feeding one the moose. Time. I like the fact that this is a family owned business. Um, it's one family that does all of this and they have some, several different you know, animals like the moose that they have is rescue, the yak, all these other things that they have here are a lot of rescue animals. And so it's, it's just cute. Their four year old daughter names them all, you know, so you got like all the frozen characters obviously and then you've got like a bunch of My Little Pony names and several other yeah. just goofy funny he names. Said, he said this one's Twilight Sparkle and all my kids were like oh! Yeah, we know what that is. <laughs> yes, really fun experience. This time will be gone forever. Never in a lifetime will you see us back here again. So come before it's too late. Hurry now, cause I can't wait. Let's put on our anthem. We'll be singing all night long, all night.